Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Eagle Point Golf Resort near Monroe Lake is closed over tax code violations, but officials say they hope it will reopen by Thursday. Monroe County Sheriff officers and the Indiana Department of Revenue shut down the resort Tuesday morning. Eagle Point Association Board Director Robert Hall says he believes the situation is just a missed correspondence between the Department of Revenue and new Eagle Point owner Doug Thomas and says he thinks it will be resolved soon. The Ellettsville Plan Commission is facing a lawsuit after denying a proposal for a new apartment complex. The 68-unit apartment complex was proposed by Quality Realty Development to be built outside Lytton Estates subdivision. The Plan Commission rejected the proposal because of the lack of compatibility with the current community. I don't see a need for it, for one thing. I don't see a lot of people clamoring for apartments in this location. And uh, if they're wrong about the need for it, then it's going to be a white elephant. It could sit there, you know, largely vacant. Residents are also concerned about increased traffic, road congestion, and lack of visual appeal. The developer argues that the plan meets all requirements and says the commission's decision was arbitrary and capricious. And state officials plan to investigate the drinking water of more than 700 Indiana public schools for lead contamination this summer. Officials will travel the state to collect samples that provide drinking water across school campuses. Water testing will be led by the environmental arm of the Indiana Finance Authority. And now here's a quick check of the weather forecast. First for tonight, mostly clear, lows down to 51 degrees. And in the five-day forecast tomorrow, mostly sunny, 79. And then thunderstorms creep back into the forecast over the weekend. Warmer, 83 Friday, 82 by Saturday. We have more news on our website at WTIUnews.org.